Hello, it's Ashley Rigdon, the English cartoonist in France. Today we're going to be looking at drawing the smiling face. Uh, it's quite a simple concept, the smiling face. We all smile, we all know what it looks like. We're all programmed to know what kind of a smile we're looking at. So I'm going to show you uh, some different smiles that can bring out different effects. Also, at the end of this session, uh, I keep re uh, referring to myself as the English cartoonist in France, so I'm going to show you a little bit of a scene from the area, from France. So uh, let's do the drawing and then you can see all the French people doing what French people like to do best. Now, if you want real smiling, you have to put little curves under the eyes, so they're no longer just circles for the eyes. Because what happens, in effect, in this area on a human face, is that um, when you smile, the corners of the mouth come up and that compresses the muscles of the cheek, which has an effect on the shape of the eye. If you look at yourself in the mirror, you'll be able to see exactly that. Um, and so we can now put the pupils in there. And there's a, there's a choice of options here for the... Um, I'll just put his ears on here because it looks a bit more human. Uh, you can do this kind of, a, you know, all up like that and it's a happy smile, which is great. Um, but you can also do an inverted set of eyebrows or an inverted curve, if you like, with the eyebrows going up in that fashion. And suddenly the character starts to look sort of sympathetic. It's almost as if he's smiling at you in a sympathetic way because, you know, you've, you've slipped on a banana skin or something like that. So um, that's the, the sort of sympathetic smile. And we can also have the menacing smile. Uh, where the eyebrows close in on the eye and they come in in a kind of a frown. You can play around with that quite a bit actually. If I take one of those away and bring him up like this, we're creating something um, that's not, um, not symmetrical. And human faces don't tend to work symmetrically. So if you look at this, we've got one eyebrow on the left which is higher and we can adjust the mouth now so that uh, that side appears to be a bit shorter and has an edge to it and this one this side on the right a little bit higher like that and now you see um, the, the sort of subtle difference in fact it's quite striking to us as humans we, we're programmed to look at faces and see exactly what is going on in that person's mind or so we think so we've got um, menacing smile here We'll just write that in and now we'll do another one next door so that you can see the difference again slightly off but don't worry uh, now we, we put his eyes with the little curve at the bottom and this is the sympathetic smile sympathetic Same technique, same mapping of the face using the, um, the crosshairs technique to hang the nose off the middle part. Um, if you were drawing something in a more classical style like this, you would, you would never have it. Nobody's got a round head, really. You know, I mean, only cartoon characters. So the, the, um, the round head... You, you, you take your line and you drop it down. I'm going to do it slightly at an angle. And around about there is the eye level, round about. But then you've got the, uh, the, the lower, you know, the, the chin, the jaw line that comes in. And this is, for, this is for more proper drawing, but also for the kind of cartoon drawing that you do if you were doing, um, you know, superheroes or that kind of more realistic work. And then you've got to put different marks in. So we're putting in a mark for the eyebrow the nose is going to come down about halfway to the to the chin and then halfway again you're going to find a mouth and we'll put a little bit of a smile onto that let's build a nose i like to put a little bit of a bobble on the end to build it and it's not how it looks when it's finished but it's just to build it 
markers for the for the little lines around the cheek uh, that surround the cheek and the eyes which between the two eyes uh, the space in between should be approximately one eye width so we'll put the little curves under him and we'll put in the eyeball the, the uh, the pupil or the iris or the representation of that anyway and now as we've shown before we can either be menacing or sympathetic so let's try menacing like this uh, that's a fairly menacing put a little furrow in the middle or we can go back and uh, we can make it uh, bear with me a second and uh, we can make it a sympathetic look where the eyebrows go up like this. It's what we call visual shorthand. It's what I call visual shorthand. Uh, with just one or two lines, you can change the way somebody's face looks. Menacing, sympathetic, um, or we can just have, we can have happy, which is again, just put those little curves in so that the eyes become laughing eyes. Happy is just like this, really. The eyes, the the uh, eyebrows go up a little bit. We put a smile on. Let's make it non-symmetrical so that it's more human-looking. Um, and it gives you something to work on once you've got once you start getting your ink out. Um, and really, that that's that's the smile. That's the human smile, and you can do it in, in many different ways. And just a thought, by the way, these figures. Um, they probably, because of the way I draw things, they probably look like men. Um, but if we take the one that's the happy smile and we put sort of women's style hair on it, which now we can't see in here, uh, we'll just put some, some hair across here, a little bit of a break in there, and you suddenly see that what did look like a man, I'll just cover that like that, what did look like a man now has a more feminine look. It's because the, the, the face is round. If you, if you work with round faces, you can hang all sorts of things on them. Um, in, in years gone by, you could determine what somebody's, somebody's job was by the hat they wore. And that was everybody from, from a policeman to a baker to a nurse. Uh, to an undertaker, you know, everybody wore a hat. And so, I mean, if today somebody could walk into the room that you're in wearing a policeman's helmet and you might think they were a policeman just because they've got that on. Or if they put on a, a, another thing, a dog collar, vicar's dog collar, they put on the dog collar, you think you're talking to a vicar. You don't question it. It's just a visual thing. So visual shorthand, big, big story as far as this sort of thing goes. So if we take our sympathetic man, we can now just decide... And our sympathetic man's going to be uh, some sort of a cowboy by putting on him this kind of hat. Oh, we can turn it up a bit at the sides. That's probably more fun. Makes it more, more like a cowboy hat, I suppose. And just give it a bit of colour there. Get my eraser and get rid of the bit that we don't want. And there you can see just by putting a hat on him, uh, this works better that way. Uh, just by putting a hat on him, you've, you've decided this is now a cowboy. So you can play with these things endlessly. Get your, get your circle, put your crosshairs in, drop a nose on there, put a smile, and then decide. Now you can actually have this, this last one, we'll do him actually laughing. So with his smile goes up a bit further, then you put a semicircle under. darken the bottom part of that open, seemingly open mouth so you leave some teeth and then just little lines there like that because the eyes are now screwed up and you can make a crow's foot for each one and you've got somebody who's laughing quite hard now their eyebrows could be like that up in the same way as the, the normal happy face they could be um, but equally, they could be quite, uh, quite sort of menacing when you're laughing so hard at something, probably at somebody else's expense. 
So if you've got a, a nice, you know, a villain would be good like this. And to make sure that you know it's a villain, put a moustache there and, uh, and a top hat. And there you are. You've got a kind of a vaudeville villain. That's easy for me to say. So that's a little uh, session on the smile on the round face and how it might work on the more uh, realistic face as well. These are only pencil sketches. They're only there to give you an idea. It's not a hard and fast lesson because as far as I know, everybody who draws cartoons draws them differently. And it would be fantastic if you were able to put a piece of, uh, put a pencil to a piece of paper, produce something and pop it up on the, um, on the group uh, Facebook page where you can go into the, um, the Cartoon Club Facebook page, post your picture, just take a photograph of it and post it, and we can all... The idea is we're meant to laugh at it. It's meant to be funny. Okay, that about covers the smiley face on the round... The smiley face on the round face uh, for this lesson, and I look forward to the next one very soon. Wow.